You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. Summer camp consists of a history of fun activities and memories for the kids who attend them. But what about the history of the camps themselves? Reporter Lawrence Nyland covers the story. If you've ever spent some leisure time at the Sylvan Lake Community Center or walked down the 38 stairs on the east side of Pine Lake in West Bloomfield, were you aware that you were on the former locations of two of the most historic summer camps in southeastern Michigan? In 1906, Detroit Free Press Sunday editor Arthur Mosley wanted to find a place for young boys who sold his company's newspaper on the streets to go to to relax and enjoy the summer as a reward for their hard work. That idea became the Free Press Fresh Air Camp that was located in Sylvan Lake. It started small with only eight boys. In 1909, as the camp grew, it became open to boys and girls. The children arrived in Sylvan Lake on the inner urban trolley, and it was a great change of pace from their usual inner city lifestyle. They were exposed to activities like fishing, swimming in Sylvan Lake, and playing baseball on the land that is now the current community center. The camp had its own cook, and the children were able to eat nutritious meals and drink milk, something they were not always accustomed to at home. On Pine Estates Drive in West Bloomfield stand these 38 steps that are the sole reminder of the Girls Friendly Society camp that first began at that location in 1903. The Girls Friendly Society was started in England as a charitable organization that empowers working girls and young women to develop their full potential. The women who were helped by the local Girls Friendly Society were immigrants who worked mainly as shop girls employed at Sibley's and Hudson's department stores in downtown Detroit. The mission of the camp was to provide wholesome vacation opportunities for the shop girls. The first camp involved 42 young women who stayed at what was known as the Holiday House on the east side of Pine Lake. Women would save all year for a two-week vacation at $2 a day. They arrived from Detroit at the Orchard Lake Trolley Station and were taken to camp on horse-drawn carriages. Food was produced on site so the ladies could enjoy healthy, organic meals. The activities at camp included sewing, reading, horseback riding, swimming, and shuffleboard. Over time, the camp evolved from just housing shop girls, but was open to any young woman with a character reference. Eventually, the bird's nest was built to accommodate young girls and their mothers ages 5 to 12. As the 1950s came around, the popularity of all-girls camps was being overtaken by special interests and co-ed camps. And as the Pine Lake area became less rural, the Holiday House outgrew its location, and in 1958, it closed. But 60 years later, the stairs and the memories still reside. Reporting for The Splash, this is Lawrence Nyland. To learn more on this story, you can visit civiccentertv.com slash camp history. Thanks for watching a segment of The Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3, the all-new Lakes FM.